Nice job making it to level two. Let's keep it rolling and apply these unit rates and rates problems in different scenarios. So we're gonna solve from a table, have your packet out, pencil ready to go. So you have been asked to interview for a position at Carl's Ice Cream. After completing your first interview with the assistant manager, the team has asked you to attend a second interview to test your skills in the field, so actually on the job. So we're gonna use the tables below to find the unit rate for each shake size. So let's take a look at this first one. So we've got a strawberry vanilla shake and they have a regular size and a large size. So we're gonna find the unit rate. Remember that's when you scale down the second number down to one. Um, we learned about that in level one. Uh, so we're gonna do that for the regular size first, then we'll do it for the large, okay? So if I'm going too fast on anything, please feel free to pause and catch up. Okay, so um, we're gonna set this up first. And remember we wanna have the price uh, first and then whatever the second thing is. We always want cost per whatever we're talking about, so we're gonna have price per cups. So we're gonna start off with four dollars is eight cups, that's what the regular size says, so we're putting four dollars on top, eight cups on bottom. Since we're finding the unit rate, we know we wanna scale down to one cup because that's the second number, so we're gonna go down to one cup. So we wanna go from eight down to one, that means we're gonna be dividing by eight, right? Eight divided by eight gives you one. So you're just dividing by that number. And if we did that to the bottom, then we have to do it to the top, just like we've been practicing. Okay, so we're taking four divided by eight. Now you might be able to do that in your head, but if not, we can set up off to the side. So I'll help you out with that. So since it's four divided by eight, we wanna have our four on the inside, eight on the outside. Well, eight is not gonna fit into four, so we're gonna have zero, okay? I'm not gonna go through every little thing. I'm gonna go through this a little bit quicker because we've done dividing before and you practiced it in level one. So if you need to go back and take a look at this, please feel free to pause or ask a teacher or a friend for help with division. But anywho, so then we go on to the next number. We add our decimal. Oops, sorry, it jumped around on me. Gotta add that decimal. It's hiding on me. There we go. We popped it up. Um, and then we add our zero, so eight fits into 45 times. Five times eight is 40, subtract, we get zero. But we don't write money as 0 0.5, we say that it is um, z uh, 50 cents. So we're gonna add a zero at the end of there, right? We don't just say 0 0.5, we do uh, 50 cents, okay? So that's our answer for the regular size, that's how much it costs for one cup, right? 50 cents per cup. Um, that's that unit rate for the regular size. Let's do the large one real quick. So the large one, now we're starting with $6 on top, 15 cups on bottom. Again, we're finding the unit rate, so that means we're scaling down to one cup. I will explain how I got the 0 0.4. I accidentally clicked on that. So we're going to go from 15 down to one, so we are dividing by 15. Okay, my stuff is hiding on me. There we go. Okay, so then we have to take 6 divided by 15 as well. And we end up with 0 0.4, I'll show you that real quick here. So we have 6 divided by 15. Again, our 15 doesn't fit into 6, so we're gonna have to um, add a decimal and pop it up and add a zero, right? Our whole process, we've been practicing lots of times. So then 15 fits into 6, 64 times, and it works out exactly, so we end up with those zero leftovers. But we don't write our answer as 0 0.4, since it's money, we're saying that it's 40 cents. Okay, um, I know I jumped the gun and clicking on that, but I just wanted to show you that division. If you need to go back and look at it, please feel free to do so. But let's try one more example. We've got the chocolate mocha shake this time. We're gonna do the same thing. Now, if you wanna pause and try these two on your own and then check with the video, you can. If you wanna do them with me right now, feel free, make your choice. So we got the regular size is gonna be $6 and then 10 cups. We want to scale that down to one cup, because again, finding the unit rate, that's what that means. So that means that we are dividing by 10, okay? Because we're going from 10 down to one, so 10 divided by 10 gives you one. And so that means we have to do the same thing to the top number, so we're doing six divided by 10. So then let's go ahead and set that up with our long division, so we got six in the middle, or I'm sorry, on the inside, 10 on the outside, because it's six divided by 10. Again, 10 doesn't fit into six. That won't always be the case. It just is a lot of times. Sometimes it will fit in once or twice. In this case, it didn't. So we have to do that same process of adding our zero, okay, and, um, and decimal and bringing it up, all that good stuff. 10 fits into 60 six times. Six times 10 gives us 60. Subtract, we end up with zero leftovers, so we didn't have to go any further. Again, that 0 0.6 really means 60 cents. That's what we get for the regular size. 
And last one, so now we do the large. It's doing the same process, right? They're very similar to what we did in um, 1C when we were learning about unit rates. This is just pulling it from a table. So we've got $8 over 15 cups. We're going down to one cup, oops, one cup. I'll tell you how I got that 0 0.53 in a second. We're dividing by 15, because we're going from 15 down to one, just like we did before. We're doing eight divided by 15, okay? And again, I know my uh, cursor was off, so I jumped the gun. Let's take a look how we got that 0 0.53. So we got 8 in the middle, or on the inside, 15 on the outside. 15 doesn't fit into 8, so we'll put our 0. We got our decimal, bringing it up, add our 0, just like we've been doing it. We're pros at this by now. So 15 fits into 80, doesn't fit in exactly this many times, but 5 is as close as we can get. That gets us to 75. 80 minus 75 leaves us with 5, so that means we're going to have to actually add another 0. We haven't done that yet. We have to do that on this one, so we're going to add our 0 and bring it down. Okay, and so 15 fits into 50, not exactly, but it will be 3 times, which gets us to 45, and that leaves us with a leftover of 5. So if you notice, that was what we were left over with with this last one. So if I add another 0 and bring it down, I'm going to be at 50 again. And so it's just going to be that 3 again, and so really that means it's going to be 0 0.53 repeating, like that. Um, so when we're talking about money, we can't go more than 2 behind the decimal, right? Like this hundredth spot means that it's pennies and we can't go any smaller than pennies. So because this three is going to be repeating afterwards, we're just going to round it to 53 cents because we don't have a number. It would be 53 cents and a third of a penny. Well, we can't do a third of a penny. So it's going to be 53 cents. So that's our final answer is 53 cents. So you just round to the nearest cent. So if you ever go three spots past the decimal, that means we're going to round to the nearest cent, so nearest hundredth, okay? I'll talk about that more in some of our lessons, but that's another example. So you have, um, oops, that's the next one. Okay, you have uh, a little bit of practice to try on the next page. Please do so and get a teacher signature before moving on. Good luck. You can do it.